having a fantastic week, a fantastic day, and today I'm going to take you on a back day tutorial. So I'm going to tell you guys specifically the cues I use for form, for mind-muscle connection, and hopefully you can implement it into your training. So with back training, the most important thing is form. It's mind-muscle connection because with back, your other body parts like to take over. So at least for me, my biceps like to take over when I'm doing rows or pull downs or pull ups. Um, when I'm doing dumbbell rows, really anything, my biceps try to take over. Sometimes my rear delts take over. Now the thing is, you want to work your rear delts in your back training. But if you are doing a movement such as a row and you are specifically trying to get that um, middle lat or that terrace major, you're trying to work that muscle and then your biceps or your rear delts take over, you're doing your body a disservice, not working the muscle you're trying to work. So I'll give you guys some clues. Hopefully you like this workout. So a lot of my workouts I posted recently, I am doing the same workouts. I'm keeping the same program or trying to. So I always do the same compound movements with my lifts. I change up the accessory workouts, but that's super important because you don't want to change everything all at once. You want to make sure that you are progressing through your lifts that you are doing. So for me, I'm making sure that I keep those specific compound movements. I'm increasing my weights of the week or increasing my reps. If you wanna learn about developing your own programs, you wanna learn about making sure that you are doing what you need to do in the gym to reach your goals, check out my Power Your Passion ebook. It is on upliftfit.org and $5 goes to cancer research and I hope it helps, uh, I hope it helps you guys. And because I thought I was completely hilarious when I made these, they're actually kind of cruel, kind of mean, but I thought it was funny when I made them. So I made these stickers. I go to a college gym, and the struggle is with my gym is that these frat boys, uh, nothing against frat boys, but these guys do not put their weights back. They just don't. So little Lacey will be putting, say the guys put the 50s where the 20s are supposed to go. That annoys me, so I have to put them back, or they just lay their weights on the floor, or they leave like 10 plates on the leg press that I have to take off. So I got annoyed one day and I thought it was funny, so I made these stickers. Can you see them? I'm too weak to re-rack my weights. I'm gonna stick them on people. I always start back training with scapular retraction. So it is very important to be able to be in control of your scapula, protraction, retraction, because in movements such as rows, that is super important to be able to do. So I also then move on to lat pull downs. I either do standard lat pull downs or I use the cables like I am here. I just feel that I can get a better stretch when I use the cables. I so rows are where the scapular retraction is super important. You want to make sure that you are squeezing those shoulder blades together and working that mid and upper back and you are also working your lats. So you want to make sure you're using your back to row and not your biceps. I love wide grip rows. I'm kind of swinging here which is not okay but I just didn't have another video to show you guys so you really don't want to swing. I'm barely swinging, but you can definitely tell I'm still trying to use my body here. <laughs> Moving on to straight arm pull downs, I love the stretch that these give. It is super important to not have your back moving forward. You want to keep your body in an upright position. This is what really is going to activate your lat and put you in the prime position to do so. I love single arm lat pull downs using the MTS row. I made sure I turned the other way so you guys could see that my lat is actually kind of sticking out and this is what allows me to get the full contraction of the movement. So the lat stretch allows you to get better range of motion which allows you to recruit more fibers so make sure you get the lat stretch. I love doing rows on the MTS. I do both overhand and underhand, and I love switching things up. So this is a great movement for hitting your upper back and your lats. Here we have lying T-bar rows. You can use either grips, but I feel that the lower grip allows me to hit my lower lats to a greater extent.
Moving on to high narrow rows. I freaking love these. I love the stretch in my lats. I really make sure I'm using scapular retraction here as well. I'm squeezing the shoulder blades together and I'm making sure to get as much range of motion possible. So these are great for the upper back and the lats and the rear delts. I also love doing deadlifts on back day. I have to be careful though, just like squats, that deadlifts can tweak my lower back. I have chronic lower back issues because of my history with cheerleading, so I have to be super duper careful. So that is why I am wearing a belt. I also like to wear my belt in regards to doing rows, which we'll see in the next clip. And that makes sure that I am not using my back during those movements and I'm actually working, well, I'm using my upper back and not my lower back. So here we go, we have rows. These are fantastic for your lats. Just make sure when you're doing the movement that you are not working and using your biceps and you are also not swinging the weight. I posted these on Instagram, probably one of my favorite back exercises, wide grip, high rows. I freaking love them, they're fantastic, and if I could do any back movement, and that would be the only back movement I was doing, it would be this one. So with bicep training, my most important tip here is to not go too heavy and make sure that you are getting both range of motion and form. So notice I am not curling all the way to where like the weight is hitting my chest. I'm kind of stopping it at the peak contraction of the exercise. So I don't go super, super heavy with biceps, but I try and make sure that I am getting full contraction in the movement. I love doing single arm curls, especially high cable curls. So the high cable position is actually one of the best for bicep hypertrophy. So and we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always comment below. I will do my best to answer every single one. And you can always email me at fitandfaith at gmail.com. Bye, guys.